in the foothills of Königstuhl mountain is the last farmer's bath in Europe. For centuries, people have come here to be healed from various ailments. Hans-Jörg Aschbacher runs the bath. There have always been baths like this in the area. The first mention of one is in 1749. It used to be a bath for the farmers, as there was no way to heat water here in those days. The bath was kept going. Now I'm the ninth generation to work here. I hope it will continue to stay in service for just as many years. It's important to note that we don't have electricity here. So that means no television, no hairdryer, no radio, etc. And that's the good thing about this place. All kinds of people come here from farmers to managers, and they all just want to enjoy the peace. Hans-Jörg wants to keep up the tradition in the most authentic way possible. Every day he collects stones from the nearby river Karlbach, particular specimens that can only be found here. The reason? A geological line dividing the limestone Alps and the chalk Alps. That's why the area is so rich in conglomerate stones and radon springs. The stones from the river contain minerals like brimstone and iron. As early as the 18th century, doctors would send their patients, farmers, woodcutters and hunters, to the Nock Mountains to recuperate. Just as his ancestors did 300 years ago, Hans-Jörg heats the stack of larch tree every morning. On it, he piles stones with a special, much treasured technique. The stones are heated up to 1,000 degrees and are then put into the water. It's very effective and gives the bath a temperature of around 40 degrees. We have a spring under the house. Its water is fed into a gully system and is then channeled along drains that lead into the individual basins. Not having electricity makes everyday life difficult. The wood stove is used for cooking. The water in the baths is heated with the stones. It takes two hours before they're ready. The glowing red stones are carried down to the bathing room in wooden buckets. As soon as the stones touch the water, they burst. That releases the minerals contained within that soothe rheumatism, gout or joint pains. The bath is ready for the first guests. There is only one bathing session per day. Men and women have separate areas and lie in the basins for almost an hour. It's so relaxing and warm and it would do anyone good. When the bathing is over, Hans-Jörg has time for his actual job as a farmer. The journey through the Alps continues, from the Nock Mountains to Friesach in northeast Carinthia. The 
follows the River Glan to the east. Here lies a wide plain in the middle of the mountains. In the Middle Ages, it was the site of many battles. Old defense forts attest to the area's turbulent past, like Hoch Osterwitz Castle. At an altitude of 175 meters, the rock on which it's situated was well protected. 14 fortified gates had to be passed to reach the castle. This clever construction made it impossible to seize the fortress. Petersburg Castle looms over one of the most important trade routes through the Alps. In the Middle Ages, silver was already being mined in the area. Peter Litzi regularly goes up to the attic of the castle, for this is where a nocturnal animal comes to rest during the day. The bats are spread out over a radius of 30 kilometers in summer. Some are here in the castle, others in a nearby church. They like to stay in the churches and old roofs of Friesach. As soon as it starts getting cold, they come back to the silver mine to spend the winter. It was in an old silver mine that Peter Litzi first became interested in bats. He had bought an old miner's hut, and while having it converted, he stumbled across the tunnel. My main house is right in front of the mine, and in the evening, when we had dinner outside, bats were always flying around, so I asked myself where they came from. We finally twigged that they were flying in and out of the mine. Peter had actually intended to set up a wine cellar in the mining gallery. But when he saw the number of bats that lived there, he decided not to disturb their home. Together with Stefanie Wolfhardt from the local office for bat protection, he now studies the population living in the mine. When they try to leave the mine, the animals get tangled up in the nets and can be counted. Bats are associated with blood-sucking creatures. We're very happy to have them here, as there are hardly any insects. And when you watch them, then you can see that they're actually very lovable animals. At the moment, some 140 bats are in the gallery for the winter. In the whole of Carinthia, only around 8,000 remain. I'm very proud of the tunnel because it was one of the first silver mines here in Carinthia. The mines are spread throughout the entire mountain. It's full of holes, a bit like Swiss cheese. It feels as though they only stopped mining last week. It's still dry and easily accessible. The silver mine is a complex labyrinth. The lesser horseshoe bat that lives here has become rare in Central Europe. One of the reasons for this is the lack of suitable wintering grounds. <laughs> Biologist Stefanie Wolfart is fascinated by the animals, as they're the only mammals that can fly. The temperatures in the mine are consistently between 6 and 7 degrees all year round, ideal conditions for its winged inhabitants. One of Stephanie's tasks is the exact documentation of the animals living in Carinthia. The facts and data about each animal are precisely recorded and evaluated. 
Ich habe natürlich jetzt Angst. Kollege Reisch ist im Fall. Mhm. <lacht> so, und dann schauen wir mal. Being awakened is stressful for the animals. The scientist needs to be very gentle when dealing with her charges. Mm, da ist ein bisschen Übung dahinter. Mm. Ja. Verletzen kann man sich da nicht. The bats are measured, examined for injuries and tagged. Now they can be identified when they reappear in a different place and their migratory paths can be retraced. The small insect eaters only weigh a few grams. After being put on the scales, the bat is hung back up in its resting place. The flight over the Alps continues further south to Ferlach. On the way lies Lake Wörthersee. It's warmer than most alpine lakes and is therefore a popular holiday destination. the end of the 19th century, ornate mansions, luxury hotels and elegant Lidos came into existence here. In the middle of the following century, the international jet set and local VIPs took over. All those who can afford it have a property with access to the lake or put in an appearance in one of the glamorous Lidos. Many people are allowed to speed over the lake in a motorboat. The licenses are limited and cost up to 100,000 euros per boat. On the next Dan Rather reports. We have heavy disease burden down here for our population. Battling AIDS in our southern home, a new front line in the fight against AIDS in America. When you look at HIV disease in the south, we have the most people with no health insurance, the greatest poverty, the most rural areas, the most minorities. Mix all those things together and have really a recipe for disaster. An all new Dan Rather reports, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern on Access TV. One time at band camp, I stuck a flute you guys are here for the reunion. You have to make your own alone time. Michelle. <gasps> American Reunion. Catch the unrated version you couldn't see in theaters and stay tuned after the credits for the hilarious gag reel. Look for the other movies in this series. American Reunion unrated. Now available on Dish Cinema. On Jump Street, they aced the academy, yes! but failed the test. You are going undercover as high school students. This is gonna rock. Why do you always jump across the car like that? Because it looks cool. You try. I think I wet my pants. Jonah Hill, Channing Tatum. Your mother told me that you are undercover. Shame out. 21 Jump Street, now on pay per view. Now available on Dish Cinema. On the horizon, a mighty mountain range comes into view, the Karavanki Mountains. Since 1919, the border between Carinthia and Slovenia's Gorenska has run along the main ridge of the mountains.
From here, it's not far to Ferlach in the Rosenthal Valley.